Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So a few weeks back, I've done a video on these batteries, the ones I use mobile. And a message came in on YouTube. It says, hi Jez, do you have a link uh, for the batteries please? I'd like to do the same uh, to run my FT290R. So I said to my friend Joel, he posted the comment, that I would do a video. So in this week's video, I'm going to take a closer look at these batteries and the connections uh, that I use when I run some of my radios mobile. If you're a new subscriber to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscription button and hit the bell button just to, to stay notified of when I do new videos, which is usually on a Monday. So we're going to take a close look at the batteries. So the battery I use is a Turnergy, and that's a 5 amp hour battery. And you get this from a company called Hobby Kings, and I'll link that in the description below. And this is 5 amp hour, 20 to 30 C discharge, 5000 milliamp hours. On the end of the battery, you've got your balanced connector and your XT60. Some batteries, like I use my drone, come with a AC3, this is your balanced connector. And the one I use in my car, it's an Overlander, that comes with a Dean's connector. And there's a balanced connector. You can normally get adapters, so I could use uh, a Deans to XD60 and then use that on the radios as well. So because it's got an XT60, I went onto eBay and I bought myself a bag of XT60 connectors. About 20 in there there was. So 10 male, 10 female, and they came with little bits of heat shrink, which is there. And all I did was get hold of a power supply I no longer used or didn't work. Just cut the leads off, cut the lead off and expose the two wires at the end. I then stuck the XT60 connector into my PCB holder and soldered the cable on. So in the end of it, we get a cable that looks something like this. Here's shrink around the top there. And I used my DVM meter and my CB power supply, so a 20, 30 amp supply, to check the direction of the voltage, whether it's centre negative or centre positive. So the FT290R is centre negative, so I've wired this up, this cable for centre negative. So how do you go about charging them, the batteries? Well I use a Asman charger. Now I've got this with my RC car. Again you should be able to get a charger from uh, Hobby King, so have a browse of the website. It's an Asman charger and it's an X Base 2.0. Now, to charge them, you can either get the wires to plug in there, which should come with a charger, and plug your balance catcher in there. But I'm, using, I'm using a balance board, again, which I got from eBay. I'll link it in the description below. And there is my balance board with one, two, three, four, five, six XT60 connectors. And all you do is you plug black in there, red in there, and when you want to charge your battery up, you just plug your XT60 into there, and then plug your balance connector into there. Just like that, then you can set it up in the charger to charge, balance charge, a 5 amp hour LiPo battery. It'll probably take about an hour and, hour and a bit to charge. Once it's charged, the charger bleeps, you can then take it out. Then your battery is ready to go. You can connect the cable up. Like that, and then that'll work comfortably on the FT290R. I haven't tested the, the runtime, probably going to get a couple of hours over at least because it's only two and a half watts. So there we go. We had a look at the 5 amp hour Turnergy battery that I got from Hobby Kings that I use on my uh, mobile radios with the XT60 connector and the balanced charge connector. Now if your battery comes with a Dean's connector, you can get a balanced charge plate for the Dean's connector. Now some charges um, have got the balance connections already on them, some of them haven't and you have to supply the balance board like I do on my Asman charger. I bought myself a bag of these XT60s with some heat shrink 
and I cannibalised and I passed by, it didn't work anymore just for the lead and then soldered on the connection there and I can use this power, power cable on various different radios so I could use it on my FT290R if I make another one up I can use it on my Midland Port Pack use it on uh, my Eurosonic ES220 handheld CB just saves going out buying AA batteries or C, C size batteries for the FT290R it saves a blooming fortune not sure about the runtime on these but if it's two and a half watts you should easily get a couple of hours out of that no problems so I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one this is 2E0IQJ 7 threes.